Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. So today, as you can see, I'm in shambles. I am in the midst of getting ready right now, so I have not dry hair, I'm wearing a robe. This is just how it is today uh, because I wanted to start this vlog before it got dark while I still had this last little bit of natural light. It's Saturday, we're getting ready, about to go out for my friend's birthday, and while I was getting ready, I started The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. And I wanna do a taste test vlog just trying out CJ Tudor. I've never read their work before. I've been hearing a lot of hype around CJ Tudor thrillers. They're really short, they seem very fall-ish, so I thought it would be a perfect thing to film in November when I don't really know what I want to read ever at all in November. So I was reading this on audio while I was at the gym and then while I was getting ready and I'm about 25% through the book and I'm really enjoying it. I will say it is very British, like aggressively, aggressively British. And I love that. But if you don't like that, that would be something to look out for. So if you don't like that, maybe you won't like CJ Tudor's writing style, but I do like that, so whatever. Uh, but this book is basically following this friend group, and it's really reminiscent of like the kids from It. So if you like Stephen King's It, you will definitely like this. Um, and these kids basically come across a body in the woods when they're little in like 1986. And then we're flashing to current day, which is set in 2016. I guess that's when this book came out. And they're all adults and the bodies are coming back. And every time they found a body, it was signaled by this little chalk man, like stick figure drawn out. So the main character gets a letter in the mail as an adult with a little chalk man on it. And that is kind of where we're at. We're just now getting into the murders and like what was happening when they were younger and one of the people in the friend group who had moved away as an adult is now back in town and he says that he thinks he knows who actually did the murders so i don't know what that means it's very mysterious i like that it's told like in this dual timeline and kind of like mismatched out of order like you get part of the story and then you'll have another chapter and you're like oh and that makes the part that was told before kind of makes sense so i am really enjoying it but i'm going to go finish getting ready and I'm sure I'll vlog a little bit tonight if I can remember. And yeah, that's kind of what we have going on. I need to eat so I don't pass out while I drink tonight. And I need to dry my hair. And then we'll just see what happens. morning i haven't been reading i've been destroying my liver but we're gonna get donuts because this man is sweet so can you please stop disgusting anyway we're gonna get donuts we don't have really much plans today i need to like get some things done but like that remains to be seen i may just read a little tiny book so if I do that, I'll let you know. Hello, vlog update. I am feeling much better and we're just gonna go on a little walk. Hopefully I can get to the halfway point of the chalk man and I will give you an update when we're home. I 
I am now halfway through the Chalk Man and things have gone off. This book is actually a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. There are some pretty heavy trigger warnings in here, so make sure to look those up if you decide to read this. And the bodies are really starting to pile up too. A lot of people are turning up dead. There was also a death of a dog, so if that bothers you, I would not read this book. And it's weird because even though all of this is happening, I'm still like, I'm not really shook by it. I don't know why. It's just like, I, I don't care as much about all the other characters. I care about our main character, but everyone else is just like so on the periphery that I just don't care about them. <laughs> and it's really hard to tell a lot of them apart too, I'm finding, because a lot of the boys, like little boys, especially here in their descriptions, like in the chapters that are in the 80s, they're all so similar and they all have these weird nicknames so it's hard to tell them apart. There's also somebody named Nikki and somebody named Mickey and it's super hard to tell those people apart. Like, I don't know why in the same friend group you would have a Nikki and a Mickey. Like, that's just too confusing. Like, why would you make that choice as an author? I don't know. So yeah, I'm kind of feeling like eh about it right now. There was like a big twist at the chapter, like right the last sentence of the last chapter that I read that I was kind of shook by, like that caught me by surprise, but everything else is just kind of eh. And the friend group itself kind of feels like a ripoff of the friend group from It. I really think like that's the feeling that they're trying to conjure here which i totally get it it's nostalgic and it feels like it feels like stranger things like having this group of kids that are embroiled in these very adult themes but i don't know if i like it like i think it and like stranger things if you're talking about tv uh does it better than the this book so i don't know i'm kind of sitting on the fence right now i'm kind of sitting at a three star with how I've been enjoying this book thus far. I still have a little bit to go though. Let's see, 277 pages in this book and I'm on page 150. I think I have like two hours left in the audio and I've been like switching between following along with the audio and the book and then just listening to the audio. So I don't know, I might try to switch to just reading the book physically and see if I feel more of a connection with the characters but right now I'm not really feeling that I don't know I'm sitting on the fence so I will let you know when I finish what I think and what my final rating is unless something like crazy happens and I feel the need to update again but that's where I'm at so I'll see you whenever I have an update Cameron has an addition I guess what do you have to say tell the fans what you do on your phone while you listen along. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs>
multiple Ruth Ware books that I really enjoy. So I was thinking it was going to be a reveal that was kind of like that, where you think the main character is involved and they kind of are, but like it's not really their fault. So they still stay sympathetic like in your eyes. And that is not quite what happened. Actually, the ending felt really forced. Like it didn't seem like it just came together naturally. And I was like, oh, that big reveal makes sense. Instead, it was just like there were so many aspects of this mystery that we had to solve. There were like six or seven things that I wrote down in a note that I was like, how are we going to wrap all this up in like 40 pages? And all the parts of the mystery were solved. There were no loose ends left untied, but I just didn't like the way it was done. Like it wasn't like, oh, there's this one big reveal that ties everything together. It was so many little tiny small reveals and they didn't have the same impact and it got really confusing. And it was kind of like CJ Tudor was just running through saying, check, 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 we tied all these things up. That's the end. And I just didn't really like that kind of an ending. It wasn't very satisfying to me, although I did enjoy some aspects of the journey to get there. It just felt like a perfectly average thriller, and this is CJ Tudor's debut, so that totally makes sense, and I'm excited to get into another book by her, and this one came out more recently, so maybe her writing style has developed a little bit more, and I will get to see what this is all about, and this synopsis of the other people is giving me no exit a little bit, like this guy is driving on the road. I think it's supposed to be like snowy or something, or like a storm at least. And he sees a vision of his five-year-old daughter and she just comes up and says, daddy, in the window. And then he never sees her again, she's missing. So he keeps driving up and down this road, trying to find her again. And then we're also following the perspective of this woman who knows what happened to this guy's daughter and she feels partly responsible so she is also on this road and I guess they're going to run into each other at some point point. and this book is blurbed um, by Alex Michaelides who I absolutely love so I have hope in this book I think it's gonna be better than the chalk man it'll be interesting to see how her writing developed and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this at some point today uh, throughout my work day. I do have a busy day. I'm literally, it's eight in the morning right now and I'm not going to be done with work until like 5.30. So we'll see when I read. When I do, I'll let you know. It is the next morning. It is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I don't know why it's a happy Tuesday. It's just a normal Tuesday. But I do have an update for you about The Other People by CJ Tudor. So I actually got halfway through this book yesterday because I was just going to read a little bit before I went to bed and I was like, trying to upload my vlog, which is supposed to be going up today, which is my Halloween vlog, which was supposed to be going up a week before, but you know what? It's fine. I lost like a ton of the footage. It's a whole thing. Anyway, I was staying up trying to upload that and it was having hella issues. So I was like, you know, letting it try to go for an hour and then it wouldn't go. So I would like redo it. And I had to like stay up and make sure it would upload <laughs> while I was going to sleep. So as I was waiting on it, I was just reading this book and I actually like flew through this first half. So we actually have three points of view. One is the dad looking for his daughter. One is the vagrant kind of a woman who knows what happened. Like she knows more than she's letting on. And then our third perspective is a waitress who like works at one of the service stations on the highway. 
and she knows this dad he's like a regular and he comes in all the time and she's like oh that's the man who's looking for his daughter and she kind of starts to get involved in the mystery and she also has a connection to the vagrant woman as well which we just found out about and it kind of shook me i'm not gonna lie so i like that there are three totally different perspectives that are interconnected and we're trying to like be on the case and see how these perspectives are connected i think that's really clever but yet again i'm feeling like this weird remove from the characters like I just do not care about these people. Like, yes, I'm intrigued. Yes, I want to know what happens to them, but I don't care about them. I feel like even though I understand, like, logically, the things that are happening in this book are, like, high stakes. Like, there's a missing little girl and the police isn't listening that she might still be alive. And there's this whole conspiracy with the other people. Like, it's fast-paced. There are high stakes. Like, logically, I know that. But when I'm reading, I'm just like... Oh, okay, yeah, so that's a twist, okay? I didn't see that coming. Like, it's just, I, I don't feel like this shock because I don't have an attachment to the characters. I also have a prediction about what happened to this little girl. I think I know exactly who she is, where she is. So we'll see if I get it right. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you my prediction because if I say that I'm right, I don't wanna spoil it, but I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. So, We'll just have to see. I'm like very on the fence with this one, just like I was with the Chalk Man. So maybe it's something about the writing style, how CJ Tudor develops her characters. I don't know. I'm just, it's feeling very average to me. So that's kind of where I'm sitting at with the other people. I have to go film some videos today. I'm actually going to film my 5k Q&A. Thank you for 5,000 subscribers. That is literally crazy to me. When I first started my channel, I was like, oh yeah, like nobody's going to watch these. It's just going to be like for me and my friends to like, you know, see book reviews or whatever. Like maybe my mom will watch them. <laughs> and then I started like gaining subscribers and I was like, oh my God, like 5,000 subscribers would be crazy. Like, that's my goal. It's probably never gonna happen, but like, that would be so cool to just have like 5,000, like 5,000 people's a lot. That's like more than the amount of people in my high school. <laughs> that would be really cool if I could like have that, but it's probably never gonna happen and happen. So I just wanted to say thank you again for 5K. I'm gonna film that video. I'm gonna film a couple more videos in advance so I cannot be stressed about filming and I can just focus on work for the next few weeks but yeah then i have to go to work so who knows when i'll read uh i was supposed to go get dinner with my friend but i think i'm being ghosted <laughs> so i don't know what i have going on tonight maybe i'll finish this book tonight instead of going to dinner so tea see you later hi it's me it's later i read a little bit of this book literally the chapter I just picked up and read confirmed I was correct. My prediction about the daughter was correct. She has been located and we still have like 40% of the book to go. So what the heck is going to happen? I don't know. This shit kind of captured my attention though. We'll see. Hello vlog. I am done with work finally and I just impulse made a target order of christmas stuff you probably noticed like the christmas stuff around my house i've had it in the background of some clips i have like my little candy cane lights back there and i have some other christmas little decor things uh set up in my house and i just wanted to like complete it and have it done so i ordered some more stuff from target and i also got like a mug and some stuff for hot chocolate because I had the hot chocolate last night and I was just like, bitch, it's hot chocolate season. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. And hopefully I can do a little holiday Target haul in this vlog. I freaking love doing like little haul clips and vlogs because I love watching them. I'm so nosy. I love seeing what other people buy. So hopefully y'all are nosy what I buy. Okay, see you later after I get my Target order. Okay, Target haul. 
<laughs> this is so cute. Okay. I, this was inspired by Jennifer Lauren on Instagram. She's like one of my favorite Austin bloggers. She put this candle on her Instagram story and it's literally just so cute, so simple, matches everything. And she said that she was burning it for like 10 hours and it went down like not at all and it filled up her whole house. So I'm always looking for good candles and this was $10. Are you kidding me? Warm gingerbread, so nice. And then I got the peppermint hot cocoa with the peppermint marshmallows and the TikTok famous gingerbread man mug. This was literally $5. Hello, hello, hello. I cannot get over it. And then I know everybody's getting like the mansion gingerbread house, but I am, <laughs> I'm quirky. I'm not like other girls. So I have to get the row houses. I just think these are so charming and like so city. She's a city girl, you know? I just love these. So me and Cameron will definitely be making this um, in a future Christmas vlog. And then by the way, this little corner, all this decor is from an earlier Target run. These were $5, this tree was 15, and those trees, both of them together was $5. So like, I have this just cute little corner of my kitchen with my little diffuser that's so Christmas. And then we have the Trader Joe's advent calendar, obviously. And then the last thing I got, I'm actually wearing this little puffy sleeve, um, little like sweatshirt and boom, matching pants we got matching joggers these are so freaking soft i got them both in a large so they would be oversized and this i feel like is a little too oversized like i should have got a medium <laughs> but whatever the pants i like the way that they're oversized because i wouldn't want these to be like clingy like i like that they're loose and stretchy and loungy this is not trying to be a fit like this is for lounging only and it's my slytherin green so i'm obsessed with this i just wish i would have got this in a medium but i'm too lazy to return it so it is what it is and i was listening to the other people in the car like the listening to the audiobook on the way to go get my target order and on the way back and I was stuck in traffic so I actually listened to like an hour of the audiobook and I'm sucked in y'all I am actually sucked into the story right now because once we found out where the daughter was oh it was like twist after twist after twist and I really like the type of twists that are happening so I feel like I'm pretty much all in at this point and I'm definitely gonna finish it tonight and I'll update you with my final rating tomorrow. I hope I love the ending because this is trending to be so much better than the Chalk Man. Good morning vlog. It's obviously the next day. You got to see some B-roll from last night. We were catching up on TV. We ate a little cheese board. It was a nice night. And I ended up staying up to finish The Other People by CJ Tudor. And uh, it did kind of the same thing as The Chalk Man, where the reveals at the very end were just like so layered that it was almost like too much and it was too confusing to where I didn't even like feel the full impact of the twist and the reveal of it all because I was just too busy like figuring out, wait, okay, so this connects to this and this connects to this. And a lot of the reveals I felt were very convenient and it was even called out like that in the book. Like some of the characters were like, isn't that crazy that that was a coincidence? And the other characters were like, yeah, just so crazy. Like, I don't know. I feel like there was some awareness there. Like, yeah, these twists are very convenient and convoluted deal with it kind of a thing. I did like the whole storyline around the other people and like 
who the other people are. I thought the whole mystery of that was very interesting and just those elements, which obviously I'm not gonna give it away, but those elements are something that I like to read about in a thriller. And overall, I was definitely more invested in these twists and these characters and this story as a whole than I was in the Chalk Man, so that's a plus. However, there was this one loose end that was left and that didn't happen in the Chalk Man. Like the Chalk Man went to lengths to make sure all those loose ends were tied. And in the other people, there was a loose end that was left. And I think it was supposed to be like an ambiguous thing. I don't even know because it was a supernatural element and an otherwise like extremely realistic story. And I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. Like there was no realistic explanation. So it just, is it just supposed to be like, oh yeah, this one really random part of the story. Oh, it's supernatural. Like, I don't know. I don't believe that and it didn't make sense with the context of everything else that was going on i don't know i was really on the fence about this book but since i did enjoy it more than the chalk man and i gave that one 2.5 i ended on a three star for this book that is my final rating three stars it was another pretty average thriller oh this one was slightly above average i i did enjoy my time reading this and it was a very quick fast paced read so if you're looking for something like that you could definitely enjoy this one i think maybe just the writing style and the way that characters are developed in cj tudor books is just not perfectly jiving with my thriller taste but i'm glad that i got to do this taste test and find that out you know that's information and i did have a good time vlogging with you as i always do so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you liked going on this journey with me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye oh, no, so